today is a very special day because the one and only Jean Krantz, who was mission controller of the Apollo 13, is coming to speak to today's students. Now, I remember when I was back in 2006, I was lucky enough to get the chance to interview him and present him with our gift of choice. I also bought myself my Failure is Not an Option t-shirt. Now, as you can see, it's a bit worn out because I've worn it so much. I was going to put it on today, but I thought I would play it cool and listen to the great man himself. So I am delighted that almost a decade later I have the privilege of sitting next to this great man, Gene Kranz. Does it, does it ever get old to, to tell people about that? Jennifer, the, uh, the neat thing is that this is a story that fits all ages. The generation that basically flew the missions, uh, their children, like my children in there. It was really amazing when the Apollo 13 movie came out. None of my kids, they were in the process of dating, finding boyfriends, you know, playing in the band and cheerleaders and all. Dad didn't have a clue. So all of a sudden, movie comes out, Dad's a hero. <laughs> so it must be quite cool to know that you've motivated so many people. I think, I think this is one of the things that keeps me going. I've been around young people all my life. We had a family. We basically, uh, they grew up, they were engaged in basically the scouts riding down the line that I participate, and they were cheerleaders, and then in mission control, they were all young. Uh, the people I flew with over in Korea, the pilots, they were all young. So youth possesses the energy, and they are the ones who can make changes to the world. So what you have to do is if you can give them the spark, the inspiration, they can do off and do marvelous things. How important do you think things like this are? So I think that Scottish Space School is very important in touching your part of this universe that we have and basically challenging young people to step up to great responsibilities, to see problems and say, I know how to fix it and I will fix it. It's I will is the key word. Gene, thank you so much for your time and I can just say thank you for being so inspirational and getting me through those exams and those tough times. That failure not an option t-shirt has been worn to death and it's a slogan that I'll take through the rest of my life. So thank you very much. Well, I much. can't believe 10 years okay. has passed. You haven't aged a bit, the Jennifer, okay? The you got it. Thank, <laughs> thank you. you so much. Thank you. It was slightly bizarre. I mean, recently watching the Apollo 13 movie to, to see one of the, the men who featured in it actually present to such a small crowd of people and tell the story from his perspective. It was really amazing. Like he's got such a good presence and his first hand account was like amazing to hear because I read the Apollo 13 book and it was amazing to see how he actually coped with the situation. He is a very inspirational speaker but I think his little motto, failure is not an option, will like stick with me because it just shows you just stick with your decisions, keep persistent with your with what you have and um, you'll make it and you'll be successful. Yeah, so we all went up one at a time and got them to sign our, sign our books. The, uh, it says, book failure is not an option, which is basically his motto and it's something that's really something to go by in life. Uh, failure is not an option, it just works in all situations.